Hey, welcome back to another episode of Assassin's Creed 2, uh, where we left off on the last episode. Uh, well, I played about like an hour and a half, maybe two hours of uh, this game, and then there was a huge storm not long ago, and then my files got corrupted. So an hour and a half to two hours of video has been corrupted. So. I mean, let me pause so I can focus. <clears throat> so basically in the last episode, uh, we were meeting up with Leonardo da Vinci because he was moving to Venice because of uh, more opportunities, uh, better pay. Um, and so we, we jumped like on a cart with him and then we got chased. And so we had to like, just get Leonardo out of there. So now we're in Venice and the part where we recorded, uh, we met up like with this uh, lady, like bandit, basically like a thug, and her her and her crew were being chased by um, some guards. She was trying to like get out of there, so she started climbing this tall building, and she jumped really high onto like this like little ledge that she can like grab onto. And Etia was like, "Whoa, that's amazing." but she was getting shot by archers so the like an arrow went through her knee then she fell down Ezio carried her uh and we got her to safety after having to fight some uh guards and so then after she was healed up she taught us how to well she had somebody teach us how to do that move that she did where she could jump real, like high when she's on like already hanging off something she can like jump and grab on something so now we know how to do that and so now i'm just doing like some like little missions for them and right now i'm freeing uh some thieves there was already two sets of thieves okay you need a hush there are already like two sets of thieves like you see like oops so you can see like uh the this blue marker right here well, there was one right here and one right here and after i got like the second one done that's whenever my power went out because of the storm and then i lost all my uh, videos so now we're on the third one and all i've really been doing was just doing those little quests for them um and doing viewpoints and getting codex pages and i don't know if i did this if i talked about this in like the last episode but once you get codex pages, what they do... Okay. So, uh, basically what the codex pages do now is there, uh, there's a feather up there. They basically give you more health. <clears throat> so that will explain like why I have a lot of health. I did manage to get some metal armor. If I didn't show that in the last episode, I, ma I managed to get some metal armor. I haven't gotten all of it. I've only gotten like the shoulder strap and the uh, torso or chest piece. Follow my lead. So yeah, this is what I've basically been doing the entire time. That and getting uh, viewpoints and codex pages. So like, right here, I'll show you an example of what I mean whenever uh, I learn that new move where you jump off like when you're what you're hanging on. 
and uh, grab onto something. Oop, messed up, hold on. It's like that. So now I can just jump and then grab on something. So that's gonna be really helpful for us. Ow. I'm impressed. I didn't expect you to succeed so quickly. I aim to please. I'll let Antonio know about our progress. Come find me later. I've got another job for you. What sort of job? Meet me near the docks and I'll explain. Molto bene. Okay, cool. <clears throat> right. So, that's where we'll need to go for our main mission. And what I'm going to do before that, I'm going to skip through all this. Because I know, like, I'm, I'm sure y'all don't want to see me go through every single viewpoint, every single codex page. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, I'll just skip through all that all these codec pages and viewpoints and uh see if there's any more of those uh assassin's tombs so yeah all right i'll see y'all then i forgot to unpause my recording so basically what just happened was that we went to the marker the the, mis the main mission and then he was like hey yeah the charity the that you did for me and my brothers freeing them uh will repay you and so they're just gonna be like a distraction for me um they're like those people that are free they're gonna be just a distraction for me to go through something <clears throat> i poorly described what happened but And many shits like <laughs> you die. Okay. <laughs> he told me to release him. Molto bene, Ezio. This is exactly what we needed. I'll let Antonio know you finished the job. 
Cool. Ooh, yeah, we got paid. <laughs> okay. So now we just need to go to this marker, but I'm going to go to the blacksmith first because I want to get some armor. Come to the right man. About me. Our health bar is getting super full. <laughs> and me buying armor increased Monteregioni's value. Good work has restored us to our former strength, Ezio. We are ready to strike. <laughs> Just tell me what needs to be done, and I'll see that it is. You'll approach from above under the cover of night. Emilio has posted archers around the palazzo. Kill them, but do so quietly. As they fall, my men shall replace them. What about the guards? When you finish with the archers, we'll regroup in front of this building here, and discuss next steps. Nessun problema. I'll take care of the archers and return to you. Then it's settled. In Bocca Lupo. Crepi Lupo. Got rid of all the snipers or all the archers, and now we just need to go back to Antonio. Over here. Well done, Ezio. Everything is going according to plan. As we speak, my men are replacing the archers you've removed. The way to the palazzo is clear now, but not the building itself. Emilio's guards still patrol its border. Use my men. They can distract the guards. Save you from having to fight. And when it comes time to storm the place, remember what I've taught you. Seek out, though, Ezio. We await word of your success. Cards is crumbling, Emilio. A minor setback. It will be dealt with. This povero scemo Antonio and his thieves. Never mind them. It's the assassin you should be worried about. Why? Is 
Is he in Venezia? He's been here for weeks. How could you be so blind? Unlike you, I have been busy. Someone had to provide the weapon to our brothers in Firenze. Yes. And we all saw what good that is. Enough. You are not allowed up here! Uh -oh. This you want, Carlo. Do our registro has called the meeting. Three Oops, days well. from now at Santo Stefano. Very well. I'll be there. Assuming you still live. If you want my advice, I'd find a less conspicuous place to wait. Seta is a target. Mm. Seta is a target. Goodbye, idiot. Cazzo, what if he's right? You, call for my boat. It should be close. When it arrives, load those crates and prepare to sail. I'll be right back. If Carlo speaks true, I must find a place to hide just until the meeting. Then we'll deal with the assassin. We must be well with Antonio. That means the attack. Well, we did it. He's holding something! Do not be afraid. I feel no fear, assassin. Only regret. I sought unity. Stability. Order. <laughs> At too great a cost. Progress demands sacrifice. Non trova alcuna gioia in questo, ma non c'è altro modo. Requiescat in pace. Uh oh. Sorry. Oh, never mind. I couldn't resist. Come, let's open the gate for Antonio. Thought we were about to be in some really deep trouble. Set has fallen and Emilio is no more. All thanks to you, Ezio. Go! Tear down Emilio's banners. Return what he has stolen from the people. Tell me, Ezio. How can I repay you for your service? Money's always nice. Easy enough. What else? Emilio is meeting with a man named Carlo. He looked to be a government official. Do you know him? Carlo Grimaldi. He sits on the Council of Ten. Why do you ask? What are you up to? I have a meeting to attend. Yeah, progress. We are making some really good progress. I'm kind of wondering how many episodes it's going to take to finish the game. Because, I mean, I I want to say we're almost done, but I it's been so long since I played this game. I don't know how much more there is. I'm really enjoying it. Like, I don't want it to end. But at the same time, I want to be able to play uh, the other Assassin's Creed games. Because in place of uh, Fallout 3, I've got another idea that I'm trying to get put together, so... We'll just have to wait. <laughs> Ooh, am I on top of that? Oh, never mind. That was weird. If you saw it on the map, I'll replay it. It had the assassin's team that I was standing on, but now we have an assassin's team we can do. I've never done this one before, so let's figure it out together.
Solve the four trials. I see. Ah, okay, you just gotta climb up on all that and hang on to that. Oh, before the lever retracts? This is a timed thing? Oh no, we're gonna have to do this a couple more times. Yep. in the camera. Cool. I hate how they do the camera angles because most of the time they face it away from me so I can't see Stop! Oh my gosh, stop! Oh my gosh, just barely in time. Is about to get very, very upset. This one's gonna be a really long one.
I'm so nervous right now. Like I, f I feel like I'm about to mess up and I'm about to rage quit. Yep, I'm about to. <sighs> Finally, we did it. Take some medicine just in case I die. <laughs> yes, finally, we're here. We finally get the riches. Oh, I don't want to disrespect the tomb. Five out of six keys. We just need one more key and we get Altair's armor and weapon. So now that we've done that, we've gotten that key. As far as I know, there's no codex pages up here or any viewpoints. But we can try to get this one. I tried getting this one earlier, but the area was blocked for me. Like, uh, you know, they the game had blocked it for me, so I wasn't able to do it. So we'll get we'll try to go get that one. Um, and since we're already right next to that, uh, little, where our main mission is, we'll go ahead and do that viewpoint. Big guy. I told him to be here. You told him yourself? In person? Yes, myself, in person. I'm concerned that you don't trust me. As am I. Perhaps you'll arrive with the others. Walk with me. <laughs> so, how go things in the palace? Honestly, it's difficult. Mosinigo keeps his circle close. I've tried to lay the groundwork, making suggestions. But he has other voices at his ears. Then you must work hard. You must become part of his inner circle. See, I understand. But it's harder than I expected. And why is that, Carlo? I don't know. He just... Uh, the Doge doesn't like me. I wonder why. It's not my fault. I keep trying to please him. I learn what he craves and I have it delivered. The finest jams from the orchards of Sardinia. The newest fashions from Milano. Yes, and that's called being a sycophant. A what? What did you call me? A doormat. A flatterer. A bootlicker. Need I go on? Ben. Bastardo. You don't know what it's like. You don't understand the pressure in there. Oh, I don't understand pressure. No, you have no idea. You are a government official. Steps from the door himself. I am beside him day and night. You win. 
She just like punched that guy. Come on, guys. Do we really have to do this? Time is not a thing we have in Rick's plan. That's a funny outfit. Another mask tonight. He's Todotiero. He certainly has the swagger. Eccolo! There! There! The feet are killing you. Can we sit down inside somewhere? Do you know anywhere? Truly safe to discuss things such as these. Another southern imbecile. <laughs> We thought Emilio would be with you. Emilio is dead. What? How? The assassin. The same one who hunted down the Pazzi. He's here in Venezia. E così? Silvio, did you not know? He could be anywhere. He could be here right now and we might not even know. He struck Emilio inside his own palazzo. And so? What of our plans? There is no longer time for subtlety, my brothers. We must act now. But Marco, I'm so close. A few more days, if I can just... No. It happens this week. We should keep moving. And what does the Spaniard have to say of this change of plan? You can ask him yourself. Soon enough. He's here? From Roma? So I've heard. Good. Then perhaps he's made a decision. About what, cousin? We are about with... which of us shall step into the robes of the dog, cousin? I didn't know there was a decision to be made. Surely the choice is obvious to all. Obvious indeed. It should be the one who right. organized you know the what entire operation. The one who came up with the idea of how to save this city. There is no lack of value in tactical intelligence, good silly. But do not, do not think otherwise. Calma, calma, amici. Please. There's no need for this. You know it's not up to either of you. For all we know, you may not even choose a barbarico. Oh. <laughs> and why not me? I'm the one who's done all the hard work. Basta! We wait for his arrival. Are you sure he's coming? Yes! Signori, we should move a little faster. I feel eyes on us. Another self! What's he doing? He'd better not be looking for- Who pays for your sins? Release me! 
did you pay for him? Perhaps not as much as he deserves. He saved my life on two occasions, though he's not much of a conversationalist. Enough with your inane prattle! The choice of Dodger was never up to any of you, and you were never given permission to make plans. Forgive us, Maestro. We wish only to serve. The plan is this. Doge Mochenigo will die tonight. And once that it's been done, Marco shall take his place. We ringrazio umilmente, maestro. <coughs> Good. Messer Grimaldi, you are closest to Mochenigo. You work the most vital. Serve us well, and it won't be forgotten. Walk with me. I don't want any blood spilled, you understand? It must have been. Jeff, when are you closest? I have full run of the palace. He may not care to hear what I have to say, but he trusts me by now as one of his own. Bravo. Then I want you to infiltrate the kitchen and poison his meal. So be it. Marco, can you furnish us with a suitable toxin on short notice? I defer to my cousin. That is really his area of expertise. Ah, Silvio. I am at your service, my son. What can you bring to get this done? I will confer with my associates in the streets. But chances are good that I can procure some candidate. Yeah, Yes, and what is that? It is a most effective form of arsenic, and difficult to trace. Wow, he's got a sharp tailor. Ah, va bene, va bene. Then it's the silent. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> oh. Camera angle. Forgive me, Maestro, but is this not perhaps a tad dangerous for you? Involving yourself so intimately with the minutiae of our plans. I feel the need to involve myself more directly. The Patsy disappointed us in Firenze. I pray you will not do the same. Do not worry this time. The Patsy were a bunch of foolish... The Patsies were a potent and venerable family, reduced to rubble by one young assassin. Do not underestimate this troublesome foe, who now haunts your city. Or the same fate will befall the Barbarico. I want this done promptly. Bene, I must return to Roma. Time is of the essence. Do not fail us. Need to go and see Antonio if I have any hope of salvaging this mess I've made. Ooh, three thousand. Okay. Where are we at now? Damn, we walked long ways. But it's good because we have a viewpoint there. Um. Oh, we have. We I think we have more 
viewpoints now. We have more viewpoints right here. Okay. Hmm. So I'm gonna pause the video. I'm gonna do this viewpoint and then I'm gonna get these two done. I'm gonna try to get that codex page. Uh, so I will see y'all then. Fast web of connection, all ruled by chance. I had to quickly or pause this. I stumbled upon a glyph or whatever it's called. I see. I can guess this one is Napoleon. Oh, okay, there it is. I was confused on which rotation that goes. And there is our second one. So there's our first one, then we're going to play them all. It's so unsmooth, but whatever. Okay, well, I just want to show you all that real quick. Salute, bello mio. Come stai? You back to see me already? Desolato, mia cara, but I am not here to play. I must speak with Antonio. It's urgent. Antonio! Ezio's here! Ezio, is everything all right? Carlo Grimaldi and the Barbario are in league with the one they call the Spaniard. They're going to murder the Doge and replace him with one of their own. They will have all of Venezia. Their entire fleet in their grasp. And they call me a criminal. Then you'll help me. You have me on your side, brother. And the support of all my men. And women. Grazie, amici. But, Ezio, I must warn you. It's not going to be so easy this time. Palazzo Ducale is the most heavily guarded building in Venezia. Nothing is impenetrable. <laughs> this is why we like you, Ezio. Come, let's go take a look. We'll come up with a plan. business with the Doge. Terrible. Though, treachery like this no longer surprises me. When I was a child, we were taught to be just and kind. I believed it, though my father was only a cop. Well, audio needs to be fixed. But the nobles would never have me. If you so I can't hear anything. Good thing I got subtitles on, but I'm not reading them right now because I'm trying to free run without bouncing off of every single thing I can bounce off of. Ah! 
That can hurt my back. We Ow. just might find a way in. I know of a tall campanile behind the palazzo, or we might find a way to climb the back of the basilica. That was one heck of a you building. Have any ideas? I assume the front door is out. <laughs> Va bene. We'll try the front door as well, Saputello. So, what do you think? We're not getting in this way. They'll have time to murder the Doge before we're able to get through all these guards. Now she got away from him. Look at that. Archers everywhere. And the walls are impossible to climb on this side. Bene. We're in luck. Looks like there's a perfect path up the scaffolding to the roof of the basilica. Shall we? Let's shall. Problem number one solved. And a feather. Awesome. Getting quite a bit of feathers, but not even half of them. We still got a long ways to go. Ezio, look! Isn't that him? Grimaldi! Don't you understand what I'm offering you, Signore? Listen to me, please. Or this will be your last chance. How dare you! I'm sorry. Mi dispiace. I meant nothing by it. I'm only looking out for your safety. I like, <laughs> time. I like how to say I'm sorry in the mid mi dispiace, everyone. which is I'm sorry in Ito uh, Italian. Stay close. Um, it's impossible. But they just say it in English and in Italian. There's no way in or out for men. Only birds. Yes. Birds. Where are you going now? To see my friend Leonardo. Ah, um, I forgot we had to do the. Uh, we had to fly at some point. This is gonna be interesting. I need your help, Leonardo. Does it work? What? What are you asking? Does it work, Leonardo? Can it really fly? I don't know. It's only a prototype. An idea. It's not ready yet. Have you tried it? No. It's too dangerous. To test it, you'd have to leap off a tower. Who would be mad enough to do a thing like that? Leonardo, I think you just found your madman. So, how does she work? Have you ever watched a bird in flight? It's not about being lighter than air. It's about grace and balance. You must use your body's own weight to control your elevation and direction. Good luck, Ezio. All right. We're about to fly. Oh gosh. This is ridiculous. The palazzo's too far away. Oh crap. Diablo, I give up. I'm gonna end up killing myself before. 
before I ever kill another Templar. Dang it. I can't believe it. It worked. It really worked. You flew. I Ezio. messed up. You I was flew. supposed to see, but not very far. Well, what were you expecting? The machine wasn't designed for distance. All right, look, let me go over my plans here. Maybe I can find some way to extend the duration of the flight. It's you. My men tell me Carlo has the poison. We must hurry. Antonio, this is Leonardo, the master inventor who built this... this petal de merda. Hey, it's not the machine's fault. It's mine. I've checked and rechecked my blueprints. It's just impossible. I don't know how to extend the flight. Ah, que idea del cazzo! I messed up. I was supposed to, like, go on the, uh, rooftops. Eureka! Of course! <laughs> like the, uh, the chimneys. What is he doing now? Heat rises. It needs fire. Heated air under its wings will lift the machine. Leonardo, what good is one fire going to do? Not one fire, Ezio. A dozen. Built all across the city. Enough to carry you from here all the way to the Palazzo Ducale. How? Ah, oh, capisco. My men could do that, but you are forgetting about the guards. Don't worry, I will take care of them. I'll give the order to have my men move in behind you, and hold the locations. They'll light them all up the second the sun goes down over San Marco. Okay, I don't know if like, it was something that we were just going to end up failing anyways, or what, but... Yeah, I remembered, because like, of course, like when an artist said, heat rises. Ooh, gosh. Some big boys. Taken care of. Uh, heat rises and... We need to get out of here. But I guess it, we were supposed to fail that. What are you doing? Go, You tire of That is brutal. <laughs> Throwing somebody off of a building. Oh! <laughs> 
Money. Let's go ahead and see if we can get any more armor. We can. Oh, and I had bought this off camera. Looks pretty cool. Glad to be of service. Nice. Pretty. It's time. You did it. It's beautiful. See. Now let's hope your idea works. Because we're nearly out of time. Listen close, Ezio. You're going to want to fly from fire to fire. The heat of each one you pass over should lift you back up in the air again. Bene. Careful, though. There's archers out on the roofs tonight. Avoid those arrows. Or it will be a short trip. I wish there was some way I could use my sword while flying these things. <laughs> well, you do have your feet free. If you get close enough without taking an arrow in the head, maybe you could kick them off the building. Nice. It's now or never, amico mio. Oh my gosh, it's already too much to handle. First off, I have to go from fire to fire and try not to die from, like, missing that. Now I have to worry about trying to kick them off the building. Ma cos'è? Shoot! Shoot the flying demon! <laughs> oh, this is so cool. Like, if this actually did work and, like, Leonardo, like, actually had this thing going from fire to fire in real life, I bet you people would lose their mind. I mean, people already lost their mind whenever the first, like, glider or something like that, like, really did work. But still. At least we're not having to worry about the archers shooting us because they're missing. That is crazy. Don't worry. Probably just kids with firecrackers. Come. It's your move. Stop! Signore, don't drink that! You are too late. The doge is dead. What? Carlo? Apologies, Signore. But you should have listened to me when you had the chance. Seems you have failed, assassin. Forgive me, signore. I tried. Why? What was it all for? Oh. Assassino! Assassino! He's killed the doge! The doge is dead! Uh-oh. He's not dead to me. Again. 
One assassin to kill another, it seems. We kill thinking it's best for us. Do we not, Messer Ezio? I do this not for myself. Compio questo sacrificio per il bene superiore. Requiescat in pace. You... You killed me? You killed me?! What? We didn't Wait, kill him. Don't fall for false opening. You want to do snake? He's got all money. And now our world will cr crumble around us. As I eat candy corn. Okay, uh, this is probably gonna be a long episode. I don't know, like I'm gonna try to cut it down as much as I can. Um, but yeah, I think that'll do it for us. Uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.